Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a Humvee battery swap video. Um, because guess what? My Humvee didn't start, went dead. And uh, my batteries are pretty old. So uh, I'll be going to Walmart, getting to Walmart specials and uh, swapping them out. It'll be a short video. Okay, no idea what's going on here. Okay, the light goes off and then all my gauges start doing this. And when I try to start it, damn it. So as you can see, I've turned my Humvee into an electric vehicle, charging from the wall. I'm kidding. I'm just using my battery tender to keep the batteries up. See, it's currently off, which means it's fully charged. So I've charged the truck up overnight and it starts up right now. But I don't want to use these batteries anymore because they are old. Have a look there. 2016. Those are old batteries. Time to swap them out. And uh, these are value power. If you look at the numbers on them, you'll see it's a VP65, uh, 650 cold cranking amps and 810 cranking amps. So that's the spec I'm going to take with me to Walmart when buying these batteries. And uh, here it is close up if you guys want to see. All right, let's go to Walmart.
All right, batteries are in, all connected up. Now's the moment of truth. Let's see. All right, nice bright light. Awesome. So there you go, guys. $145 for both batteries. Here are the old ones. So I'm not sure what I'll do with them. Probably keep them to, uh, you know, test electronic stuff or as backup for whatever. Anyway, so uh, like I said, you don't have to spend $200 a battery unless you want to show off because um, I might have mentioned in my charging your Humvee video. You don't really need a million dollar or $200 batteries for a Humvee. It's a very simple machine, um, not complicated, no sensors, no complex electronics, just a silly ass smart box, uh, which likes to conk out now and then, but you don't need $200 batteries. $72 each from Walmart, two of them, and you're all set. Look at that, Matilda's so happy. All right, so we're all done. I'm happy, Matilda's happy, and she starts right up. So that leaves me free to do my next little project, which is um, the 24 to 12 volt step down. And I'll be installing this Orion step down and a little fuse box. So you can run all your 12 volt accessories that's going to be fun and let's hope I don't destroy my battery and smart box in the process. I don't think I will, but uh, you never know. Life's crazy. All right, guys. See you later. Have a great weekend or week, whatever, whenever you watch this video. Do like and subscribe. It definitely encourages me to make more videos. Um, I don't really make any money on these videos. It's just um, so that I can share my build and uh, make some new friends. Bye.